I am excited to share some extremely optimistic news about Casper today. This news not only has positive implications for Casper, but also has significant repercussions for the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Please be prepared for some stimulating information as we delve into it. Coimple A prominent cryptocurrency exchange and fintech company has recently made a significant announcement regarding the introduction of a pioneering crypto debit card. This card is designed to facilitate the adoption of the emerging Casper currency. This discussion aims to examine the integration of cryptocurrency and conventional fiat currencies, and Coimple's debit card effectively meets this need. Importantly, the accompanying analysis is not the result of a sponsored partnership, but rather a collaborative effort with Casper. Notably, I am not sponsored and will not accept sponsorships in the future. Once a user's application is approved, they can connect their Casper wallet to their debit card via the CoinPal platform. This integration enables users to access and administer their Casper funds using the debit card. PayPal prioritizes the safety and security of its customers. Currently, this discussion pertains to the process of currency conversion and transaction processing when a cardholder initiates a transaction using the CoinPal debit card. During such transactions, currency conversion occurs in real time. For example, if a user's Casper wallet contains Casper tokens, but they intend to make a purchase using a traditional fiat currency like USD or Euro, the CoinPal debit card can be used. This feature of the CoinPal debit card is noteworthy because it represents a significant step forward in the application of Casper to the real world. It opens up a variety of new possibilities for Casper users, making commonplace transactions more convenient and practical. Adding a debit card to Casper's peer-to-peer -peer payment system increases its usability. Observing the development of Casper and its numerous partnerships, it is clear that the platform has a high probability of gaining widespread acceptance. When contemplating the concept of mass adoption, it is essential to recognize the time element involved in the comprehensive development and manifestation of nascent initiatives such as Casper, despite the fact that some individuals may harbor concerns or questions about Casper's current status. It is essential to acknowledge the gradual development required for initiatives of this nature to reach their full potential. As we anticipate the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies, we can anticipate their use in cross-border payments, everyday transactions and even as a reserve currency. It is of the utmost importance to keep in mind that partnerships such as the one established with CoinPal offer significant practical value and exhibit substantial future potential. The ongoing development towards the future of blockchain technology, also known as CryptoWeb 3.0, is gradually integrating into our daily lives. The incorporation of cryptocurrencies into our existing financial systems as well as collaborations with established entities such as CoinPal and MasterCard, exemplified by the partnership with Hedora, indicates the increasing adoption and acceptance of digital currencies. These developments have facilitated the expansion of mainstream adoption and the realization of a truly decentralized future. So individuals who have been closely monitoring Casper and waiting for a favorable opportunity to invest may now find one despite the possibility of consolidation or minor fluctuations. It is crucial to adopt a visionary perspective that considers the long-term potential of various factors, such as cross-border transactions, daily cryptocurrency usage, and the use of decentralized applications. These elements serve as the primary pillars for attaining mass adoption. Casper appears to be making progress in the right direction. In conclusion, the introduction of the Coimple's crypto debit card, which supports Casper, represents a significant milestone for both Casper and the broader cryptocurrency market. This integration and utility bring us closer to the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies. Ethereum is a blockchain platform that facilitates the construction and execution of smart contracts and decentralized applications due to its decentralized nature. Distributed applications dApps rely on the native cryptocurrency EtherEth to facilitate the execution of smart contracts and provide the necessary resources for the Ethereum network to operate. 
due to its pioneering role in the development and advancement of blockchain technology. Ethereum holds a prominent position within the cryptocurrency community. The Ethereum network has significantly transformed our comprehension and implementation of digital contracts. Even fundraising methods such as initial coin offerings are decentralized. The term thermicos refers to initial coin offerings, which are a type of fundraising. The influence of Ethereum has stimulated innovation and served as a source of inspiration for a number of projects that have sought to build upon its foundational principles. As a result, these endeavors have played a significant role in fostering the growth and development of the cryptocurrency domain as a whole. The concept of non-fundable tokens is challenged by innovation in industries characterized by decentralization, such as finance. NFTs are non-fundable assets. Identity verification for supply chain administration is a prominent application of Ethereum, particularly in the domain of decentralized systems. Finance is the study of how individuals, businesses, and governments allocate and manage resources. The use of Ethereum smart contracts on the DeFi, DeFi platforms facilitates the provision of a variety of financial services, such as lending, borrowing, and yield farming. The subject of this discussion is decentralized exchanges and the creation of synthetic assets. The development of decentralized finance as individuals increasingly seek decentralized alternatives to conventional financial institutions, DeFi has significantly increased the significance and acceptability of Ethereum. The characteristics of Ethereum have also facilitated the emergence of non-fundable tokens, NFTs. will always be a part of the Bitcoin ecosystem. He said that as Bitcoin becomes more common in society, Different ways to use it will come up, and a one-size-fits-all solution may not work. Saylor gave three main reasons why the Bitcoin space needs custodians. A technical. Politics and. It's only. Saylor agreed that, from a political point of view, some government structures might make it necessary to rely on third-party guardians. On the technical side, he understood that layer three third parties like Bank of America and Apple help make mobile crypto transfers work. Saylor also said that it might be safer for some people. Like the elderly or those who want to make sure their assets are safe for future generations to give their possessions to someone else. Saylor thinks that Bitcoin will have different ways of integrating and that the market will 